Recently, scientists found a cosmic rarity about 1900 light years away. A six star system of three eclipsing binary stars. Find out what this means and why this discovery is a sensation in the following video. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and stay tuned for more exciting videos coming your way in the future. NASA's TESS Space Telescope is on the hunt for exoplanets. NASA's TESS Space Telescope isn't quite as famous as Hubble or Kepler at the moment. Launched in 2018, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS for short, has a specific mission. Similar to the Kepler telescope, TESS has set out to detect exoplanets. This is not an easy task, because planets are very difficult to detect in the vastness of space. Unlike stars, they do not emit light. For this reason, they are typically seen when they pass in front of their brightly shining stars as tiny and somewhat darker dots. This passing is called transit, and the procedure to detect the planets is called transit method. TESS is thus set to register minute differences in brightness in front of stars. While searching in space, however, the telescope came across something else entirely that amazed researchers. The star system TIC 168 789 840. The star system named TIC 168 789 840, or TYC 7037 89 1, lies about 1900 light years from us in the constellation Eridanus. Eridanus is one of the largest constellations in the night sky. In the southern sky, it can be seen as a kind of chain of stars below the much better known Orion. Precisely because the formation is so unusually elongated, the constellation was named after the famous, endless underworld river of Greek mythology, Eridanus or Eridanos. For laymen and those observing from the ground, the constellation is probably less exciting. It's not very bright. Basically, only four stars are clearly visible to the naked eye. One of them is the star Epsilon Eridani, which is one of our Sun's closest neighbors at a distance of 10.7 light years. The Eridanus region of the night sky has one more feature. The Eridanus supervoid is a space that ranges about a billion light years that contains no stars, galaxies, black holes, or even dark matter. The void is a strange one that puzzles researchers endlessly. In this bizarre constellation, researchers and the TESS Space Telescope found the unique six-star system we want to introduce you to in this video. A six-star system? Say what now? We Earthlings know five stars, six stars or more, only from luxury vacation ratings. But what distinguishes posh hotels here is a completely different thing in space. Perhaps you thought that all solar systems are similarly structured like ours. In the center, there is a shining star, and around it, the planets circle. But this is not the case. Throughout the Milky Way, about 15% of all star systems consist of two stars. Sometimes it is not entirely clear whether these are twin stars or whether in the course of cosmic events, two separate stars have collided and together formed a new binary star system. Much rarer than double star systems are three star, four star, five star, or in this case, six star systems. To find one is like winning the lottery. The six star system TIC 168-789-840 So what TESS discovered 1900 light years away represents an absolute rarity in the galaxy. Not only is the presence of six stars special, but also how they orbit each other. The system consists of three pairs of two stars each. Two pairs share an orbit, while a third binary star runs in an orbit slightly further out. 
this orbit intersects the orbit of the other two double stars. All three pairs influence each other and clearly belong together. The position of the orbits results in a unique phenomenon. All six stars cover each other periodically. They dance around each other on very regular orbits, always eclipsing each other. Such double star constellations are called eclipsing variable stars, or photometric double stars. Another distinctive feature is the similarity of the sextet. All three pairs consist of one slightly larger star and a second that is only about half the size of its partner. The large main stars are about as big and hot as our Sun. The smaller ones have only one-third the luminosity. Unique Observation Opportunities It is precisely because the stars dim or partially obscure each other that scientists can observe this system so well. The resulting contrasts allow researchers to make measurements. Without these occultations and shadows, the system would shine so brightly that individual stars within it could not be made out. Many multiple star systems, when viewed from a distance, look like a single very brightly shining star. For the first time, reliable magnitude measurements, detections of radiative changes, and distances of a six-star system are possible. TIC 168-789-840 is not the first six-star system to be discovered, but it's currently the most exciting, according to NASA. The Castor Six-Star System Another, somewhat better known six-star system does not offer these great observing opportunities. If you're an astronomy buff, you're most likely familiar with the constellation Gemini, with the Castor and Pollux star systems. For thousands of years, people on Earth assumed that Castor, about 51 light-years away, was a single bright star. It was not until the last century that Castor was found to consist of two stars. When even better telescopes came into use, researchers saw even more. Castor suddenly turned out to be a six-star system and was one of the first multiple star systems discovered in space. Castor's six stars also orbit each other as three binary stars. However, they run on strongly elliptical and closely spaced orbits. The two brightest stars, Gem A and Gem B, are spectroscopic binaries. They are so close together that their radiation overlaps. From Earth, they cannot be seen separately even with the largest telescope. The fact that they are double stars could only be understood from the periodic changes in the light spectrum. The third pair is an eclipsing variable star system. The Gem C duo consists of two red dwarfs which temporarily pass in front of each other and eclipse each other just like all stars do of the unusual sextet in Eridanus. The dance of the Eridanus sextet is unique. The Eridanus system is currently being studied by the Goddard Space Flight Center in the U.S. state of Maryland. In their observations so far, they have come to the following conclusions. Two pairs of the six-star system TIC 168-789-840 run together in a very harmonious orbit with a common center of gravity, or barycenter. The partners orbit themselves in four days each and the other double star system in about four years. The third double star system runs on a larger orbit and shares a common barycenter with the quadruple. The two partners in the third binary also orbit themselves in four days. One orbit of the third binary around the quadruplet takes about 2,000 years. What's most exciting is of course the question whether planets also exist within the stellar orbits. So far, researchers could not find clear indications of exoplanets. Presumably, a planet that has six suns orbiting around it could not survive very well. Nevertheless, the research team of NASA found out that around star A and C, there are thick material disks. Such disks are thought to be precursors to the formation of planets. All in all, 
Far too little is known about the formation principles of solar systems and planets to be able to make reliable statements. It's conceivable that binary stars drift apart over millions of years and then planets form in orbits. Something similar is currently observed with the two red dwarfs in the Castor system. Let's now imagine if there were planets in the TIC 168-789-846 star system that were inhabited. Depending on the position of the planet, the people or living beings there would see two or four suns in the sky. Then, every few hundred years, two or four stars would grow larger and larger in the sky, and suddenly a whole six suns would be seen. A fascinating idea, isn't it? How do such cosmic sextets form? Now you're probably wondering how and why such unusual multiple star systems form. Unfortunately, science can't provide clear answers to this question yet either. However, we would like to share a hypothetical scenario with you, which was calculated by researchers for the sextet in Eridanus. It would be conceivable that initially a pair of two protostars existed in a primordial cloud. From this, today's main stars of the quadruplet evolved which orbit along the narrow path in four years, main star A and C. This ensemble could have captured a third young star nearby due to its gravity. Today, this would be the main star of the pair, B, running on the large 2,000-year orbit. Presumably, there was a residual gas cloud somewhere in this system that had the potential to form more stars. Gravity turbulence generated by the three large stars may have collapsed the cloud. The collapsing gas cloud then probably formed the three smaller and not quite as luminous stars. Due to the magnetic forces in the system, the almost identical smaller stars each joined one of the larger ones. Do you study astrophysics or have expertise in multiple star systems? Let us know if you have another explanation about the origin of such unusual star constellations. Or, are you fascinated by the idea of six suns in the sky? No matter what you have to say about the topic, we look forward to your feedback in the comments.